So this is a tour of my Pokemon shelf of various Pokemon things I've collected over the years. Uh, it doesn't include some shirts and um, clothing, but for the most part, I'm going to walk you through it. Pardon the vertical video syndrome. I just think it's probably just better um, to like scan down. So uh, we'll start with this giant Pikachu here. So um, my fiance Alex bought this for me when he was in New York when we were first dating, even though... Like, I hate gifts, and it takes up a lot of space, but, um, I mean, I can't just, like, throw it away, I guess. So, um, this is this Muse and Pikachu sock I got when I was in L.A. Um, officially Nintendo license, I think, but I lost one of the other ones uh, in another apartment, so that part's gone. But I it's still really cute, so obviously I'm gonna keep it. This Pokeball, um crochet thing is not officially licensed but it was part of a keychain that my best friend Christina gave to me uh, when she was in a business trip in PEI. Here's a, a Mew sock. Mew you can probably tell is my favorite Pokemon. This sock is sparkly and uh, I also lost the other one in another apartment but I'm gonna just keep it here. Here's um, a Mew plushie. I still have tags on it even though it's probably like bent and stuff, so it's not really worth anything, but Mew is my favorite Pokemon, so I just have to have it. Um, oopsie. Ah. Uh, I got a Champion's Path uh, Elite Trainer box, which will do an unboxing video. I'm really excited to open this up because it's really, they were out of stock in one day when I got them. This is not officially licensed, um, but kind of cool, like a laser sketch, like ball thing of Mew. Um, a little more smaller and more expensive than I thought it was going to be, but oh well. Um, it uses these tiny batteries, and I think it's, yeah, it's already out of battery. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, so let's move on down. Um, I've got my Rayquaza plushie that I got in New York um, in 2015. Uh, that trip was with my ex-boyfriend, but we don't talk about that, but that's okay. Actually, we do. It's lots of funny stories, but um, it's really bendy, too, and um, uh, obviously it's, like, I bought it myself, so he didn't give it to me, so obviously, like, I still really like it and everything. Uh, my second Mew plushie, like, there's only two left. There's that first Mew plushie and the second one. I, like, there was two left in the Walmart, like, many, many years ago, like, ten years ago. I just... I could not buy one and leave the other, so I literally bought both, as you can see. Uh, this ho -Oh I've had also for a really long time since high school. I think I also got it from Walmart. The tag is long gone. And the wings are bendable. Uh, to match off, I have a Lugia plushie um, that I bought in 2019, a uh, trip to New York City with um, my fiancé and my best friends. Um, this is not has to do with Pokemon, but it's just a nice display. It's a tape of... Taylor Swift, my best friend, sister, and uh, favorite artist, obviously. This Backpack Pal Poke Bulbasaur is uh, vintage. It looks legit. Um, and uh, it's, it's just one... It's, so, it's an interesting story. So, I've had one like... I've had the exact same one for a long, long time since I was... I think I bought it originally when it first came out, like, 20 years ago or 10 years ago or something. Uh, that original one got stolen, but I just had to, like, replace the hole in my heart with the exact same one. I didn't want Squirtle or Charmander. I wanted the Fuzzy Bulbasaur specifically. So, um, here he is. Um... And this Mew was given by, I think as a Christmas present, there was a Mewtwo as well. It's like official vintage um, light up keychain. Um, I think it was given by my, um, I think my mom-in-law. Uh, yeah, and I just didn't want, I opened the Mewtwo and it's already like kind of broken. Um, it was on my car keys for a long time, but this I will definitely not be opening because it's just, I just want to maintain the integrity. Uh, this Bulbasaur Terrarium is um, from LA. Um, that's all it is. <laughs> so moving on down. So we're getting, we're getting into some stuff that isn't really Pokemon anymore, but still. Uh, this Pikachu goes into a Pokeball. Like, it has, um, it has, like, that seam at the back, and then you can, like, turn it inside out and it goes into a Pokeball. I've had that for, like, 20 years, I think. I think I bought it original. This Dratini came from my best friend when she went to Japan, um, and, uh, from the Pokemon Center. Um, in Japan, there's some, like, McDonald's toys there of Yoshi and Mario, and that lit Litten is also, um, from McDonald's, too, and I believe it does launch... Oh, okay, well, it does... I thought it launched, but... 
Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, it launches a fireball. Um, the other ones do stuff too, like the Yoshi. Um, he goes, I think he goes in and out or something. Yeah, so his tongue goes in and out. The peach goes, like, swirls, I think. Oh, yeah, he, she swirls. Um, the Koopa shell is, I think, my favorite because it's just so much fun. So you just pull it backwards and it just propels forwards. Really fun. Um, there are some figurines of some Pokemon I've collected over the years that come in the sets. So, like, I have the Silvalli set that, it, like, a figurine came out of. I have two Shamans that I got off of eBay. Um, a Mew that actually uh, Alex found in a park one day, and I just, it was really fortuitous. Um, it was, I just cleaned it off and kept it. Uh, and then the Xerneas came from a Xerneas pack. Xerneas was, is my favorite choice out of Xerneas and Yevitol. Reshiram is here. Bendy Wings, he's my favorite out of Reshiram and Zekrom. A random Dragoneer, um, a friend from university gave me. Just, she was pawning off some, uh, just trying to give away some stuff and clearing some stuff that her brother had. Um, this random Pikachu, I think, came from fiance i think you found it somewhere um and this um this charizard came from eb games and it's got bendy wings and i really like this because it like when you oh maybe it doesn't work oh when you no it does um when you like press down on it yeah it spits out the fire Ugh. so just like put that oh oh my god oh okay there okay i thought it like went down its throat to the point of no return. Um, this is just a McDonald's Secret Life of Pets plushie. So now we're going down again. Uh, these are just... Oh, really dirty. Okay, Pikachu slippers. I'm just going to move them to the side. That's all you really need to see from them. I've got a model Eevee set that I still have to build um, from Eevee Games. It's still sealed. That's the box that the LA Terrarium came from. This is just kind of surprise cases. This... Um, metal Pokeball tin had booster packs in it. I remember the pulls were really, really horrible. Uh, there was this Lego dinosaur set I think that got on sale. Um, and it turns into three different kinds. It turns into a pterodactyl, a T-Rex, and a brontosaurus. So it's brontosaurus right now. I have, like, a bunch of these nano blocks that come from EB Games, but you can also get them online. So I've got Bulbasaur, Snorlax... Mewtwo, Pikachu, and Eevee in the back there. Um, I did build them all at one point, but then I moved, so I just um, uh, put them back and I never reassembled them because um, I'm still like settling into my new house. And uh, now we're starting to really not into get into Pokemon stuff anymore. There's like a random Lego thing that like some work people just like was giving away at an event. Um, there's minions that I've collected from over the McDonald's years. Uh, this little thing is actually not even mine. I don't just don't really know how it got here. Um, uh, that's from Little Big Planet. I never played that, but I think, uh, Alex did. Um, and then, um, this, I think actually came from a friend's Happy Meal. Uh, I used to, I think, make noise, but not anymore because out of battery. There's the tags and stuff from, like, Pokemon things that I've bought. You can see there. This came, this, um, n uh, oops, ah, this Duskwing's... Necrozma slash, um, what's his name? So Galio came from the limited edition, um, special pack of the Ultra Sun, Ultra, yeah, the Ultra Sun game that I pre ordered or something, and it's just really cool. I just don't ever want to take it out because it'll lose, like, its color and stuff. So it's still sealed there. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that is a conclusion and a summary of my Pokemon shelf of most of the Pokemon, like, trinkets that I have so far. That doesn't include. My actual Pokemon cards or some Pokemon clothing I have. But uh, in general, those are kind of just the toys and stuff I have. So, um, yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. And maybe you can tell me um, if you have a Pokemon shelf or Pokemon stuff, what kind of stuff is on your Pokemon shelf. Um, I know my collection is really paltry compared to lots of serious collectors, but uh, it brings me a lot of joy. So um, I like it. I like the uh, the stuff I have. So thank you very much. Peace out.